What's up, heathens? How y'all doing? I'm the Godless Engineer, and I critically analyze apologist claims to give you the best arguments and information so that you can stand up and use your voice. Today's video is a clip from The Line. If you want to catch me on The Line, I'm on there once a month to host Skep Talk. Uh, the Line also has a number of other shows that you might be interested in. So after you watch this clip today, why don't you go on over there, subscribe, and be sure to catch the next show. What do we have All next? All right, and then uh, I think uh, the final call that we're going to be able to take is Matt from California. So I'm so sorry for the other people that that uh, called in, but um, the Matt will be our last uh, call that we're going to be able to take tonight. Uh, I hope that you guys can call in next week uh, on Skep Talk or any of the other great shows that we have here on the line. But uh, hi there, Matt. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing wonderful, guys. Hope you're doing the same. Yep, Can you hear doing me? Good. Right. Oh, good. Nice. Maybe there's a little laggy. Hello. Uh, yeah, hey, go ahead. We're you. trying to leave you space because uh, well, of, of the lag. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What, what, not, what questions like you got? Second or something. Oh, just I got. I mean, bajillions. But how does a compass work on the globe? Right. The whole thing is supposed to. They say the magnetic stuff's all shifting underneath the surface now too, and it's about to switch directions and who even knows. But I was just looking into the making making a compass the other day, and it's kind of cool. But either way, it still it doesn't seem to make sense that it would point toward the middle of the ball. Well, it well that's the thing is that that it doesn't. I do have a video on my on my uh, page uh, about what? that. Um, I'll, I you know I, I think it actually is I'll about does it, you know how does a compass work. But um, so the uh, the mac the compass doesn't point to the center. It it actually lines up with the magnetic field of the Earth and points along the uh, the magnetic lines. I don't know if you've ever. I'm sure you've seen a diagram of of the Earth with like the Earth in the middle and then kind of like the magnetic field lines kind of going from you know the poles. That kind of I don't know For sure. clover yeah. looking thing, and so. That's what it's, it's actually lining up with that, falling in line with that. It's not pointing to the center of the earth. It's, it's staying in line with the sure. magnetic field of the earth. And yeah, so that is why, magnetic certain, north. yes. And that's why at certain, that's why one, they make different types of, of uh, compasses because in different regions, it points, <laughs> it points differently. And so when you're below the equator, you actually have a, you know, the, 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 Compasses are balanced differently because of the way the magnetic field curves, and so you can't just take a you know a compass that's made for the northern hemisphere and take it to the lower hemisphere because it will point <laughs> incorrectly and it will just slam into the edge of it because it's it's balanced a certain exactly. way. Um, yeah. So yes, it it does work uh, on a globe, but it's not because it's pointing toward the center. It's because it's actually lining itself up with the uh, with the magnetic field. For sure, it seems like uh, it would work a lot better on the flat plane than me. So we just you just said equator. Have you ever seen the sun travel in a straight line through the sky over the equator on an equinox like is required twice a year on a ball globe Earth? Should be well documented. Have I happens twice a year. Have I personally? Anybody? Anybody? I've, have you ever heard of it being documented? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, yes, I, yeah. Um, I've also, you know, there's I, I, just a little bit of my CV. Uh, I let's see. I traveled uh, to several different parts of the world uh, with weights and measured the different weight of objects due to the acceleration of the due to the rotation of the Earth, showing that there actually is centripetal acceleration that's happening at different uh, points of the Earth, so that that it actually is measurable. Uh, I traveled past the magnetic south pole and had my compass go freaking crazy as I crossed the magnetic south pole. Uh, let's see what else I've done. I've uh, recorded the, uh, let's see, the that's celestial pole. You, cross, you crossed the north. magnetic south pole. That's awesome. Yes. Well, hold on, hold yeah. on, hold yeah. on. Yeah, I, 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 you we're, finish? We're just, no, Matt, 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 Matt do you know how conversation, Matt? 
Matt. No, Matt, no, no, no you, I'm still on the equator. I'm still on the sun over the equator. Straight line. Is there any documentation? So I'm just saying, I'm just, giving you a quick, I'm just giving you a quick, a, a quick CV of the things that I have actually personally done, even though I haven't personally done that. For sure. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm not. I, I I hear you. You've gone to the South Pole and done that. That's awesome. But do you know where it's been documented that the sun has gone in a straight line over the equator on an equinox, like should happen twice a year? Matt, do you subscribe to the flat earth idea? Like, do you, you believe in the flat earth model? I have no idea, bro. I'm in California. I'm stuck in California. I don't have money to do anything. I, that that, that did not answer my I question whatsoever. To. Yeah, no, I don't. No, I don't no, no, subscribe like, to anything. I don't subscribe to anything. Well, I mean, I was asking the question if there was any ever documentation point. of the sun doing what it should do twice a year. And it's very easy to show. Yes. So, are you? Have you? Are you going to share that with us? Can you share oh, that? With I, us? I didn't, it's not a something come, that you talk didn't, about. It's something exactly. that you provide Ma documentation. Uh, uh, Matt, 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 yes. Matt. Listen. Yes. It's yes. not incumbent. It's not incumbent upon us to do your research for you. I've looked for it for five years now. It doesn't exist. You've spent every single day for five years looking for that particular piece of evidence, and you haven't found it. Maybe try new search terms. Because I feel like you could right easily on. find this so, I mean, on the if internet. this is our best evidence that that's happened, then that's not very great evidence. That's fine. That, that is what it is. What? Well, you know, no, I'll, I'll no, use well, okay. Uh, sans sans the sun, the, the sun years, thing. But uh, no, here I've muted you, okay, because you don't know how to stop talking when we're talking, okay. Now, I, I'm gonna unmute you, but when I unmute you, I would love for you to provide us with some kind of argument for the flat model, other than this whole sun thing that you seem to not be able to find. That's actually rather easy to find and verify. So uh, give, give us, give us a different argument and something that you think doesn't make sense on the globe model uh, to, for, for us to handle. Okay. Are you there? I heard the beep. Y yes. Oh, no, we're good. Right on. Okay. So if I go look at the ISS stream, the horizon will appear straight while it, the horizon, it needs to make a complete 360 around the ISS below it. How is there a straight line? I mean, that's fine. I don't understand, understand what you're even asking. You're saying. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, <laughs> try that, try that again. I, I think both of us had a hard time interpreting what you were saying. So um, please um, sh shoot that our way again. Okay, so the, hori uh, the ISS is looking out toward the horizon uh, of the Earth. It's up okay. above there, however high. And the horizon is perfectly straight while on a ball. Where are you getting that, that from? Has Where am I getting what from? I've seen it gone, go concave, convex to this, to that. It's not the best thing. Um, yeah. No, it's not yeah, a thing no, at no, all. It's obviously... All the people say Finish your thought, though. Finish your thought, though, Matt. If I'm standing right where I'm at on the floor and I can see the horizon all the way around me, it should form a 360, uh, three miles out approximately. If I'm and? standing like... That's not what you see on the okay. ISS. Well, I mean, I'm sorry. Are Are you... Are you seeing a feed of the ISS where it's spinning around 360 degrees? It doesn't need to. I take the part of there that the horizon that you can see, and there's no way it would ever form a 360. How are you? How are you taking that horizon? What are you doing? Looking at it, observing it. Oh, no, but but I'm sorry. The human mind doesn't have the ability to then calculate it's, whether it's or not it would make a 360. So what are you doing? It's the same thing on like a hot, uh, high altitude balloon footage. It should form a 360 there as well. Okay, so so I have a question. If you're sitting on the just on the ground and you're looking out and you see the horizon, right? 
Yeah. How do you know that horizon is going to form a 360? If I can have uh, no, if you can see it the whole way around, then what do you mean? Of course, it's, it has to form a 360. Okay, so what, you, you seem, so what I'm saying is you seem to have two standards. You seem to have a standard of yeah, if you no, stand no, on I the ground and look, and look at the horizon, you are allowed to spin around and you can see that it has 360. But you're restricting yourself since it is restricted. You have what the ISS says. You're saying, well, I can look at that and just see that it doesn't form a 360. Well, you're not giving the ISS a chance to turn around and look at everything. So you're, I think you're... You're, you're, well, there should be a, you're projecting a, curve a different standard form. between the two. The curve, there should be a curve on the horizon and it's not there. And so, but yeah. Uh, so <laughs> now, uh, if I can, if I can interrupt real quick, you can literally go on YouTube right now. We know that you're on YouTube. You can go to YouTube yep. right now. There's a live feed right. from the ISS that clearly has a curve. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I hear you. No, no, no. It, it all, I mean, right now is from, from the position that it's at right now, you can see a curve and it just changed because yep, I'm I looking at it right now. I, well, no, I, I mean, you may, you may be hearing me, but it seems like you're still saying no, that there's no curve. So there's a curve. This is, this, I hear you. So this is exactly why I go back to the equator on an equinox. Right, because this is very simple to show a straight line, the sun moving in a straight line over the equator on an equinox. Okay. It gets all okay. this horse play out of the way. So that's your standard? Your standard is seeing the, uh, the, the sun go over the equinox, uh, go over the equator uh, during the equinox, traveling in a straight line. That's, that's, that's the one. It, well, it gets this horseplay out of the way, you know what I mean? This horizon refraction type of other stuff. I got, I wasn't like ready to call you guys. There's the two body oh, no, no, gravity no problem. problem well, you I don't, I don't the third, how and that, it's like, oops, I, it just doesn't work. <laughs> I, I understand what you're, you're saying, but I don't see um, if you're, I don't, I don't see how that, you know, gets it off the table for anyone who's actually looking for the, the, the earth to be flat. Uh, I, I, I don't understand how that, gets it off the table for you. But if it does, then uh, keep looking. I would say uh, if you would uh, maybe go over to my YouTube page uh, into the, the the community section where I posted about this video, right about this video right here, just drop your name, just say, hey, this is me. I was asking that question. And then um, I'll see if I can find some information for you. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, like, yeah, for sure. I appreciate that. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. We're not gonna have a big thing. I'm just saying, just drop your name on there. Just say, hey, this was me. I talked. This is Matt. I talked to you on, on the on the on the podcast thing. And then I'll say, cool. And then I, I'll then have a spot to send you information if you're interested in it. Yep. And then also, of course, uh, germ theory versus terrain theory. Germ theory is obviously fraud. Terrain theory is obviously common sense. If we killed each other by breathing, we'd all be dead hundreds of years ago. And speaking of breathing, when I smoke my cigarettes and I start coughing, that's an example of terrain theory, along with the lung cancer that comes thereafter. No, wait, Germ wait, what's, what's there must terrain be a bug theory? Doing something. Uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, you can look it up. It's just. Yeah. It's just common sense. So, it says that the thing well, in the real world that I interact with, like if I drink soda pop, it says I'm going to have all that stuff inside of me, which is going to make me fat in this and unhealthy. The sugars and the high fructose corn syrups and the this and the that, and just a factory uh -huh. juice. And, what, and is there an issue you're having you with that? Is there, is there an issue you're having with that? I'm just curious, real quick. What what is what's the what's the what's the problem? What's the issue you have with germ theory or this uh, when it comes to sodas or whatever? Terrain theory. What's well, that? Germ theories completely pretend and obviously, but they have people running around muzzling their children for germ theory. Right, and they also no, no, give their no, children uh, no, so over Matt, 100 Matt, vaccines, Matt, supposedly. Matt, no, Matt, Matt. Okay, so th there's two different things that you're talking about here. For one thing, 
germ theory is not a lie. You can literally get a microscope and you can see microorganisms. You could spit in a Petri dish and you can see microorganisms. Okay. Germ like, theory of this you can see them. D d yeah. yeah, yeah. Of, 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 of the micro and you can and you can then expose people to those things that are in that petri dish and they will get sick not necessarily all the time because guess what everyone has different immune responses and same thing when it comes to whether or not you have that soda your body may respond to that soda differently than my body responds to the toxins or whatever that are in that soda so it's not a hundred percent that all these things happen to all people at all times but it is evidenced uh through research for a very long time that microorganisms that cause disease exist. Viruses exist, bacteria exist, immune responses to these, these, to these things exist. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, I'm sorry, that's, that, that's one that um, we're, not, we're not turning back the clock on. Again, yeah, so like, yeah, I mean, the soda, it also makes my teeth decay and it does this and that which according to germ theory, it's a bug doing all that. Terrain theory says it's no, the sugars no. and yes. Well, well do you understand yes. that? Also, that, so you, you can have label like stuff you see under a microscope, viruses or anything, it doesn't make it harmful. You can label anything you want. It doesn't mean anything. Yes, and no one says that, and, and no one, no, I've literally never heard anyone say that a virus by just the act of being a virus is therefore harmful because not everything is actually harmful. A virus is just a classification of a form of, of, of life. And the same thing when it comes to tooth decay, bacteria are microorganisms that will, you know, eat away at, at your teeth, but they need food. And guess what feeds them? Sugar. So it's not just like, hey, sugar rots your teeth. Sugar feeds bacteria and bacteria. So it's not one of these things where, I mean, and maybe you should look into it that some of these things that you're talking about, it's either one or the other, are actually um, the, the, the beauty of science that, that these things are actually kind of integrated with each other. Germs do exist, and things in the world do affect you know, things as well. It's not as cut and dry as you're saying. Uh, and, yeah. Did you have something, John? No. Um, I'm just I'm <laughs> amazed because... Yeah, I look. I'm amazed because you can literally if look in them under a microscope and see see these things. Liver disease, look. the alcohol, the parts in the alcohol are destroying my liver. You're saying bugs are destroying my liver. N no, I'm not saying I mean, bugs. I, I, that's what, that's what we're saying. There are different things. No, bugs? So, so germs theory does like, not you think, say. You think I got cockroaches in my liver? Yeah. Yeah. So I think exactly. that's where I think you're I mean, having, exactly we're, we're having an issue right there. Well, I, it's nonsense. I think th this is Matt, Matt, Matt. Yeah. Uh, I think this is where we're having yeah. a little bit of an issue is that things are not all or nothing. It's not all of one thing or all of another thing. And no one is, you're, you're saying, I, they say I that, it, you know, it. something in your liver. No one is saying that. That is not actually what science says. You may, be, you may have heard something and you're interpreting it. That. No, germ theory, germ theory says works. that. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Germ theory How does germ not theory uh, is not apply to all brain things brain. at all times. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, didn't, I, I, I was, mean, that's I was what... thinking, so say it again. Oh, just look up germ theory versus terrain theory. Dive into it a little bit if you want, and you can see that one's perfectly common sense, and the other has us thinking that we breathe out bugs that kill one another that aren't actually bugs now anymore. They've added viruses in the germ theory, which is not a germ. It's something who knows. Yeah, I'm sorry. When yeah. when when were they when were they bugs? Exactly. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They've added no, viruses I mean, you said, in the germ theory. It's for my entire. I'm, 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 I'm in my fifties. It's been viruses my entire life. Uh, bacteria my entire life. I don't know from bugs. Right. I mean, we shorthand. They, they're all I got a bug, but we don't mean right. bugs microscopic organisms whatever you want does it make a difference well right it's, it's okay, just, okay so you you were talking matt, matt. What's that? Hold, hold on matt 
I, I, yeah, common sense. We got it. Um, so a second ago, you were talking about uh, how a, a bug that we breathe out is, is causing parents to muzzle their kids. And I'm assuming that you're talking about COVID-19. Um, COVID-19 is a virus. It's just uh, an, another uh, coronavirus. There's multiple different kinds of coronaviruses out there. And um, the thing with, with the coronavirus is that it, it doesn't just, like, it's not airborne. It travels through the, um, like, the the uh, molecules that you breathe out, like, just just uh, liquid droplets. Yeah. Thanks, honey. Yeah. And so they travel in the droplets and, and the mask prevent, you know, you from transferring the, what if you have COVID-19, it prevents you from giving it to other people. And so just in general, like face masks are a good thing, like during flu season and everything like that, because flu season is also uh, another thing that's caused by viruses. Uh, but uh, I, I mean, the, the, this is all stuff that we can actually detect, whether it's an electron microscope or just a regular microscope you could probably get for about $50 from Walmart. Either one, you're going to be able to literally see those things with your own eyes. What do you think is under the microscope when you see microorganisms? The cleaners of the earth. That's what they do. Little bugs, they go around and they keep this place clean. What do you okay. think? You you look hurt and you see murderers, right? No, and you're laughing no. at me. They, no, no, no. I, well, around. yeah, I was I was for a second there because part of me is thinking there's a there's a little bit of po action going on here. But uh, I would know when I see when I see those things, uh, I just I see life. I, you know, I see, just, I'm done. I'm gonna be legit here. Um, you know, give me give me a moment. Uh, when I see that, I see life, and because it's life. It may be positive. It may be negative. My body, my body may deal with it well. It may not. I have a, a tremendous amount of bacteria in my body that actually works in conjunction with my body. It evolved with me. Where you know it works with our with our system really well. It does help break down things in my stomach. It's very it's very helpful. That is very true. But not everything Acid. in me came from me and works. Hold on, let me finish. And so when I look in, in, in the Petri dish or under the microscope, I see life. I don't judge what it is unless I know or have been shown that a particular one is known to be negative. But when I look in there, I don't see murderers or anything like that. I just see life, okay? Mm -hmm. And just like anything else in life, uh, it may be positive, it may be negative, it depends on how it reacts with my body. What do you think they're there for? What do you think, why do you think they exist? Well, I, so we, we all well, have uh, a ahead. certain amount of like germs yeah, so and, and microorganisms that no, no. The, so in, in our own bodies, we have, uh, you know, we 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 have uh, germs that help us. Like there's microorganisms that live inside of us that help us do different different bodily functions. Uh, we also, if I'm if I'm remembering correctly, it's been a while since I've read it, but we actually have a virome uh, inside of us too that that helps us stay healthy as well. So, uh, I mean, what are they there for? It kind of depends on what you're talking about because we have gut bacteria. And, uh, you know, if, if, if your gut bacteria is, is off or is, um, not, uh, not in a good state, you know, that can actually make you really sick. So, I mean, there's, uh, I mean, there's different, there's different, uh, ways to go about it, uh, as far as explaining what they're there for it yeah. just depends on what you're talking about. Yeah. And uh, let me, and yeah. let me hop in here real quick, Matt, before you, before you go on, uh, when you say, what do you think they are there for? That's, that's an assumption that all things are there for, for my benefit. Um, there may be things that work perfectly well with another organism and it is part of their body or whatever. And when that dog bites me or whatever, that or that bacteria that works perfectly fine with their body gets into mine. And it doesn't work well because it's not supposed to be there. And so I get an infection on that, on that bite because it's not meant to be there. There are things in this world that, yes, may work in perfect harmony with the environment that they are that they evolved in or they happen to be with, but that's not my body's environment. So if it happens to get in me, it's not when you say, what's it there for? Well, it's there for its own survival. And its own survival may not be the best thing for me. 
but it doesn't make it evil. It just makes it something that doesn't, isn't very compatible with me. So I, I need to do something about that. Right on. Well, that, I didn't, I didn't say they're there for me. So just say, so you no, know, they're just part of the, the place that we're in stuff, clean stuff up. So when I drink a beer and I start throwing up, that's terrain theory. You say there's a bugs in those beers making me throw up. No, I say you drank too much. I don't. No. I don't think this collar is for real. I mean, at this point, he keeps yeah, saying the same at, stupid at, stuff at, after it's been explained multiple that's times. That's why I said. That's why I said we. I had a po feeling going on there. Yeah, Matt. I don't even really care yeah. if you are for real at this point. You you clearly don't listen. They explain things and then you just go. Well, I'll just repeat a different version of the same goddamn stupid point I said before. And then you keep <laughs> repeating the same stupid line of, "Well, that's well, not common sense." Things. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That's not common sense. So, you know, here's the blah, 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 blah. No, Matt, go fucking like actually read a book and do any of the research you're pretending to do. I don't care. Shut the fuck up. No one cares. We're done. Matt, fuck off. We got a, we got a night to do. Eat my shit. It's full of bugs. <laughs> yeah, I think we're done. That was like, I don't want to yeah. step on that. It's, that's just... No, no. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, that was our last call. I'm like, fucking Christ. Yeah, Matt, <laughs> Matt needs to go and drink his bug beer. Why isn't um, it? Why? <laughs> but, it, but the medicine should be common sense. That's why we didn't figure out to wash our hands while delivering babies for thousands of years. You fucking idiot. You fucking, <laughs> fucking. Well, and hands, when you wash your hands, you build up soap, which gives you magic powers. That's terrain theory. <laughs> Uh, cause soap is a good thing, <laughs> but I can't actually explain how these things are good things, but it's not bugs. It's little fucking fairies. <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man. Uh, yeah. Nice. I don't even know it if was he was a troll or not. I just knew he wasn't listening and he kept like, you'd be explaining something and then, and, and you'd only be like nine words in and he'd be like, Oh, but you think with the bugs and shit. Which I'm giving him more of a north, a north, uh, a north central north accent, but apparently he called from California. I don't know. I that's what he said. Yeah, I don't know. You think that there's yeah. bugs in the beer, and that's what's killing my liver. <laughs> what a stupid, uh, what a stupid caller. What's up, Heaven? Thank you so much for checking out this clip from the line. If you enjoyed this clip today, you can get more of it by subscribing to the line. So hit up those links in the description so you can catch me the next time I host Skep Talk. I don't know, was that 20 seconds? Uh, here's some filler shit for, you know, to fill out the 20 seconds. I don't know. Go fuck yourself, Jimmy. <laughs>